Rise Support Court with Judge Vanda B is now in session. Judge, this is case number JVB1068, Clark case. Thank you. You're welcome. You may be seated. Man, it's a lot of people that didn't want to come to court today. Makes my job easier. Okay. All right. Looks like Mr. Clark, you brought this case before the court. What's going on? Uh, you know, I'm married and not happy about my wife going out all the time. Girls' night seems like every other weekend when we try to do something romantic, she's like, oh, I prefer to go out with my girls' happy hour. So I'm suspecting she's cheap. So. Okay. So because she is with her girls and not spending as much time with you, you think she's cheating? Yeah. I text her while she's out. She don't respond. Um, I ask her, send a picture where you are so I can see what's going on with the post on social media. I don't get any type of messages. So, you know, I'm kind of insecure with why we're not having anything in our relationship happen the way it's supposed to as a married couple. Okay. You all still live in the same home? Yes, we do. Do you have any children? No. Okay. Um, you see her every day? Yeah. Do you try to discuss it with her then? She don't want to hear it. She don't go in the kitchen to talk. That's why I expect her to be where I can corner her, but she don't talk. So All right. I got things to do. I got errands to run. So I let her be so I'm not like smothering her. But when it comes down to playing the role to reservations, my girlfriends, my girlfriends, my girlfriends. So Okay. Have you ever confronted her about cheating on you? Uh no. All right. It looks like you came because you're wanting to get some sort of spousal maintenance from her. Yeah, because we're pretty much done. There's nothing happening in our relationship intimate-wise. So, I mean, I pay all the bills, two cars. She don't pay no gas in the car. So, you know, I need her to either get going or tell me what's really going on. All right. You pay all the bills, you yes. say. So you make more money than her? Yes. Do you know where she is? Have you talk to her at all? Is she with the girls right now while court is going on? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Well, if you're the one making more money, I don't see how I could honor your request to get spousal maintenance. Well, she gets an allowance. All right. So I want that back. You want your allowance back? Yes. How much of an allowance are you giving her? I give her 10 k a week. $10,000 a week? Yeah. Man, where you work? I'm obviously in the wrong profession. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, you got her served to be here today. Yes. You do realize that if she were to come to court and ask for spousal maintenance from you, she would probably get it, right? Uh, most likely, yes. So, you still want to go through? Yep. With Okay. Are you just doing this because you're mad at her? Yep. Well, Mr. Clark, you don't <laughs> just come to court and file something and ask for a request without the grounds just because you're mad. Well, why, I, I can why, empathize why, with why you not? being mad. Because I, I want her attention. So in the court, there's mediation, and she'll know I'm serious. Well, ye so yes and no, right? So you don't want to file a lawsuit to necessarily get your spouse's attention because you're not getting the affection that you're looking for. You can threaten her with a lawsuit or you can draft one out and show it to her, but to actually have her serve, set it for a hearing, that kind of takes up my time for somebody who really needs to be in here. So it's a waste of resources. I mean, I get what you're saying. I'm married myself, so I definitely understand what you're saying. Yes. This is just not the right resource to get her attention. Does that make sense? Kind of. Okay, so this is what we're going to do, Mr. Clark. We're going to dismiss your case. Dismiss the case? We're going to dismiss it. You do not have grounds to ask for spousal maintenance. You're the breadwinner. You just said you pay all the bills. You give her a $10,000 allowance a week. You don't qualify for spousal maintenance. You yeah. have to prove that you do not have the resources to meet your minimum needs. Okay. We both know that you do, just based off what you said you do. Right. So, yeah, I would have to dismiss your case. Yeah. Nothing else I can say then. No, but you know, I, I thank you for coming to see me, right? Thank you. But I also recommend that the two of you seek some sort of counseling, marital counseling. 
Okay. Nah, we be on marital counseling. Okay. Well, if you decide to come to court and file for a divorce, right? Yes. You can do that, but just not with the spousal maintenance part attached. I could foresee her saying <laughs> she would like to have spousal maintenance. So yeah, I have to dismiss your request on that. Okay. All right. If, is there anything further? Can I file for bankruptcy then? I cannot give you legal advice. Yes. I would just caution you with doing that if you really don't have a reason to file for bankruptcy. And you definitely will want to consult a bankruptcy attorney before you do that. Yeah, I just don't want her taking nothing from me. So if she flipped the script, then... Okay, Mr. Clark, I'm not going to assist you commit to committing fraud. <laughs> if there is nothing else, you are dismissed. Thank you. You're welcome.